<laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Delazar Slate, and today we're having a lovely little reaction video. We're checking into Ivory Isis right before we go and run a campaign session, so that that's what that's why what they're fucking talking about in the side chat. Well not side chat, it'd be the chat on the bottom. You see where the fuck it is. Anyways, this is Ivory Exorcist. Um, this is trailer one. It's by Studio Hecate. I have no idea what the fuck this is actually about. I just saw it in the recommended section and said, eh, let's get it. Wait, hold up. Delve into the electrifying odyssey. Fill the blue the brim with adventure and action. Mystery and emotion will leave you living with your dream and fantasy. I don't know why, but the way it was structured made me think it was going to have to rhyme. In the world of Terra. Neat. What is fantasy without reality? Is this the real life? Also watch play tabletop. <laughs> Astro, yeah, you're correct. For reference on that campaign, we are like 28 sessions in. <sighs> and I'm DMing. Anyways. Studio Hecate. Very pretty introduction. I remember opening my eyes. These ivory eyes. For the first time. And before me was born a world I could have never imagined. So first off, I'm already fucking with this from the perspective of narration. Great. Voice acting. Good. Quality of audio. Amazing. Ivory eyes. Good, good, good. The music in the background is working out to its advantage. And before me was born a world I could have never imagined. Developing story from the eastern region of Grana is the town of Dallas. A deadly bloodless attack of the commercial area of the town left dozens dead and countless missing. Fuck. Exorcists were on the scene and exterminating the bloodlust threat. The exorcists are a regime of special soldiers under the Ivory Church. The Ivory Church made exorcists almost 700 years ago and turned us into the most well equipped. Yeah, no. The fact of a church making exorcist, that wording is a little bit on the nose. So I now have to just think to myself immediately, the church is the reason why the exorcists exist. Those demons are not demons, and they are most definitely horribly transfigured humans. We were just talking about Maito, so of course he's more transfigured. Um, and I have free eyes of this nature. The monsters they're fighting are very similar to themselves in the way that they're transforming their eyes. Almost 700 years ago, and turned us into the most well equipped weapons against the bloodless there are. Most that or the things are naturally occurring, and they've decided to take what is in the bloodless and add them to themselves. People in your position have already undergone months of training before they receive the mutation. You managed to skip that part somehow. So we're going to have to get you caught up fast. You have thus far failed to tell me anything that helps your case, boy. You claim everything your father- Don't ever call me fucking boy. Oh, hell no. Nah, nah, I understand where that's going. The classism. Okay, so I'm guessing superior officer or nobleman who's not even part of the fucking regime. We're liking and subscribing, by the way. Um, I want y'all to run these fucking numbers up crazy. It was innocent. One clumsy mistake after another. But that is not the Baylor I knew. He was cunning. <laughs> cold and calculating in all things. <laughs> the perfect soldier. So your daddy. Oh, he got his abilities early because his dad got it instead of realizing the mutation. And if they're wondering why, it's because... He didn't tell them who his parent was. So upon him starting to learn how to use things, he immediately awakened this mutation. Okay, I'm putting two and two together. Until he betrayed his king like a coward. Oh! And spawned... Betrayal? Of <laughs> science, even more of a monster than he. They think of me a monster. But there's so much more here. A soldier of ivory is what they want to call me. A creature bred for war. Something people tell stories to their children of at night to keep them on the path of virtue. 
If only they could take a look inside and see that there is a beating heart. Slower than I'm used to, albeit. <laughs> but still. So he was very much more human until recently. Okay. Fuck yeah. Alive. Yo, Studio Hecate, if you ever see this, could you let me know what parts I got right in my guesses? Like, I feel like I got close. Gave a lot of details. This is really nice. Dun. They have more videos out on this? How old is this video? April 26th? Okay, so not too old. Opening one. Episode. Ooh, the episode one's already out. Hold on, how long is this? I must admit, that's a fucking hour. Is it like just. Oh, it's like an audio drama. I will not probably listen to this on stream, but there's a possibility that I'll just listen to it on my own. And I'm honestly down with that. Um. Hmm. I want y'all to all go down to the fucking um, description and go check out the original fucking video. I'm gonna like this preemptively because I'm pretty sure it's gonna be good. Um, you know what? Fuck it. We're gonna check this first open. Vocalist Shirley draws. Shirley, you have a beautiful fucking voice. Also produced by Zadak Dean. Lovely work as well. Um, thank you all for the support. Fuck yeah. Lead animator, okay. Lead illustrators, June Po. Lead composers, the Botfly X Demon. And co writer is Matthew Neo. Well, it's love for the studios. Hecate. Everybody, please go check out the original video. I know for a fact I'm gonna be checking all this shit out. <laughs> 